Hi, Tyler Inner Fidelity here at the Rocky Mountain Can Jam uh, Fest uh, 2012, and we're at the Cavalli Audio booth talking with Alex, and he's going to tell us about his new, very cool tube rolling amplifier. Hi, Alex. How are you? Hey, Tyler. How are you? Good. And uh, let us know a little bit about your amp here. Well, this amp is uh, is a new liquid glass. It's um, a tube roller's dream amplifier. You can see from looking in the tube compartment here that it can handle octals and no balls. It can, not only can handle um, a single type of tube, but it can handle hundreds of different types as long as they have a pinout that's similar to a uh, same as a 6SN7 or a 12AU7. So you see uh, there's octal. We can drop these in. Uh, if you wanted to put in a no ball type tube, you can drop them in in the back like this. There's an interference fit so you can't put two, two tubes, tubes in at the same, same time. Same time. Yeah. It has a 6 volt and a 12 volt switch on it so you can run either of those heater voltages. It has a plate voltage setting on it for uh, to drop the plate voltage for some of the tubes that uh, can't run at the normal 300 volt plates but have to run lower. It has multiple inputs and a headphone preamp out. Unlike a lot of other amps you know, there are many amps where you can tube roll, but typically you can only tube roll one type of tube. Uh, the most popular one being like 6SN7 type rolling, but this amp, uh, you can roll 6SN7s, but you can roll anything that has uh, similar characteristics, like you know, these are 6GU7s, they're not 12AU7s, but they have the same basing diagram, so you can roll those in there. Um, and and, and the, uh, their front panel switchable, can you show us the switches on the front panel for yep. doing the... The switches are right here. These are slide switches, but on the production amps, they'll be toggles. It'll be a little easier to get to. So this is the heater switch. Right. That's the plate voltage switch. This is input one, input two. Input one has a loop out. Uh, this is headphone preamp, so it's in currently in headphone mode. Um, and this is a hybrid amplifier, is that right? It's a hybrid amp, so the the tube, the output buffer is solid state. It's a high power output buffer. It's got, it's um, very transparent. It's been designed to minimally uh, color the sound. So what you hear coming out of the back end of the amp is essentially the sound of the tubes that are plugged in. Uh, the buffer is a very high impedance, so the tubes are running unloaded, effectively unloaded, so they're they're essentially free running. And whatever characteristic sound that tube has is what comes out the back of the amp. And so when you swap tubes, as people have been doing yesterday and today, you hear immediately the sound of the tube that you put in there. And people are finding that to be pretty cool. And guys with fairly large tube selection tube collections. Are, are drooling, thinking, you know, I can roll so many tubes in here. And, it's a, it's a taste a tester's time. delight. Yep, and then I figure people will find, uh, you know, a group of tubes that they like and and roll them in and out and have a good time. Very so, cool. And what are you expecting the uh, selling price to be? The selling price will be thirty-seven fifty. There's a special on the first ten, and there's some left, a five hundred dollar um, reduction in price to thirty-two fifty. Uh, on sale now to be begin delivery about the middle of November. Sweet. Well, I I had uh, I've, I've been watching this amp a little bit here. I haven't actually had a chance to uh, have a listen, which I will do shortly. I, I think it's really cool that you can uh, have a sort of a chameleon amplifier that can take on the characteristics of the tube sound. I haven't spent a lot of time with tube amps. Just recently, I built the bottle head crack, and I thought that was all sorts of fun. And uh, one of the limitations of a lot of these tubes amps is a high output impedance, so you can't use the the amp with all sorts of tubes. And evidently, the output impedance on this amp uh, is very low. It's in you know 20 to 30 milliohms. So it's going to be able to drive all, all sorts of headphones, and I, I I think this would just be a delight. So thanks, Alex, for Thank showing you. that to me. I appreciate that. And you should listen before you go. I'm home. going to go listen. I'm going to listen right now. Okay. I'm going to listen right now, and I'll see you at the next booth.